If you're looking for a way to determine the remainder of a math problem in Excel, one of the best ways I've found is to use the modulo function, which is shortened to MOD in Excel. For sake of illustration, I'm going to write out a very simple math problem. And I'm going to have 7 divided by 3, which we should realize equals 2 remainder of 1, because 3 goes into 7 twice but there's still one left over. So if our modulo function works properly, we should receive uh, one in this case. So um, I started the, the equation here, equals MOD for modulo, open parentheses, and here's where Excel gets a little weird. Number in this case equals the dividend. So in our math problem, the dividend is seven. And then divisor, luckily they kept the, kept the same naming convention there, is three. And if we close those parentheses when we hit enter, hopefully we get one, and we do. And just for proof that it works on other math problems other than the ones I just gave, let's look at modulo 12 divided by 5. And we should be able to do in our head, 5 goes into 12 two times, but there's still two left over. So when I hit enter, hopefully we get two, and we do. So again, if you're looking for the remainder of a division problem in Excel, the best way I found to do it is to use the modulo function, which is shortened to MOD. You open the parentheses, you put in the dividend, or in most cases it's the bigger of the two numbers, and then comma the divisor, which in most cases will be the smaller of the two numbers. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helped.